Hey, 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 this is Audio Discourse Music Channel. Um, I thought I would come on here and talk about this um, just because I just thought of doing it. It doesn't matter what people might or what I might think or whatever, but just some interesting things came on. Um, and shout out to anyone that's into death metal. I've been into death metal since the early 90s. You know, still like the music and still listen to it, even as old as I am. And I still like playing it, too. Um, there was some recent controversy that came out about Chris Barnes. And um, to be honest, ah man, I don't want to seem like I'm against anyone. You know, like, it's not even on that. But I kind of have a little bit of a different opinion than most people have about this. I really don't think that he was trying to hate on the new generation Let's read the tweets, okay. I just watched a death metal podcast on YouTube that was done about a week ago with the top, quote-unquote, top death metal vocalist. It made me physically ill. I despise what the genre has become. Now, think about that, you guys. Like, think about it. It's almost like, I, I, I get, I, I'm, I don't mind, you know, people putting like like stuff like that but i understand where he's coming from maybe he was just maybe chris was just thinking that well heck why does it have to be a competition why does it have to be the top death metal vocalist you know i don't think he was hating on the whole genre i, I really don't think he was hating on new bands either i think a lot of people misunderstood this so so jamie josta he's in hate breed and he's done a lot for you know the underground scenes and all that so Jamie was basically inviting him to uh, the post, come on the podcast and discuss. And Chris Barnes answers, no thanks, brother. I have no need to jump on that bandwagon. You guys got that. I don't think he was hating to the fact that he just, you know, he said, hey, no thanks, brother. I mean, that was kind of nice. He didn't curse him out or anything like that. Um, And so, you know, like... <sighs> There, there's a lot of things that, like, people had to say. I think Jamie had said something. I don't know who said it, but they said that that's weak. I, it, okay, I'm not doing this just to be contrary, but I think this should be looked at another way. I don't think that Chris Barnes is hating on a lot of the death metal people from this generation. Um, what he's saying, I think, is basically the competition, or what looks like a competition. I can understand that. You know, I think a lot of people were taking this to a whole nother thing where he's hating on the newer generation of death metal guys. I really don't think he was saying that, you know, um, and it, it's cool. Um, I did Corpse Grinder and I, I get I, I dig him, too. You know, like I started listening to the cannibal when Chris was in cannibal. I'm not really so much into six feet under or, or six. Yeah, I forgot the name of his newer band, but. If you guys just look at this tweet, I really don't think that he was trying to hate on like the newer bands. I think he was just hating on what they based that uh, the podcast on. And he just didn't want any part of that. You know, just, you know, when you think about it, it's like the same thing with, you know, any other kind of underground, like rebellious type music, like punk, for example, you know, who, who, who was the baddest punk rock band or, or, or just you know like just put that in that category who's the best punk rock band where, where punk rock basically was like we don't care about being the best we're just you know gonna rage against anything that we can no matter what forget the competition you know i'm at this level and i think the same thing for death metal too you know it has that underground um underground raw sensibility of like why does it have to be a competition in that regard at least some parts of it, you know, so maybe he was talking about that. Um, I mean, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not hating on Jamie. I'm not hating on anybody else. But I think this should be looked at another way, to be honest. Um, I don't think that Chris Barnes was hating on anybody, dude. Like, I think it was just the comment, I mean, especially based on the tweet that he had, you know, like read that tweet again. And he quotes that and he just doesn't like the fact that it seems like it's now a competitive thing 
where where it's like you know who's the baddest or or like ACDC who's got the biggest balls of them all <laughs> I don't know um and I, I I have to say I don't I, I wish I could find that tweet but from what I remember on this other channel they showed Jamie's response and him calling him weak I don't think that he should say that he should just at least ask why he why why he said that why he said that it made him physically ill instead of like kind of going for the juggler he probably just didn't feel like this genre should be be thought of in that regard although i understand you know it's it's more of a celebration when it came to jamie and a lot of the guests including corpse grinder of the death metal vocals so i i get that but I see where Chris is coming from with that, you know, like I love any kind of new and brutal band that I could hear, you know, that, that are, that, that kills, you know, I'll, I'm down with that. So, I mean, so I don't, even me looking at this, I don't think he was really hating on new bands. I think he was just hating on the concept of some kind of top death metal vocalist, you know, like he didn't want any part of that. Even I'm sure if he was thought of as the top, that's what I'm getting you guys. Please let me know. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think about that. And no, I'm not hating on any new bands. Like I said, I have friends in bands, and I love like the fact that people are still playing death metal, you know, grindcore, all that stuff too. I remember at one point in the mid '90s, it kind of died down, unless it was, uh, unless it was the underground, you know. But a lot of it died down, and people were getting more into more st stream ahead or groove metal type stuff, but you know, it's cool to see that cats are still into it, you know, anyway, you guys, please let me know what you think, um, please hear me out, I think, I think Chris's quote was taken the wrong way, in my opinion, and no disrespect to, to Jamie and, and anybody else who was on that podcast, but I think that tweet was taken the wrong way, anyways, peace.